Project 971 The Florin Th Th Degree Th, is a nuclear-powered attack submarine first deployed by the Soviet Navy in 1986. The class is also known under the name BARS. There are four subclasses or flights of Shkuka, consisting of the original seven Akula-I submarines which were commissioned between 1984 and 1990, six improved Akula submarines commissioned between 1991 and 2009, one Akula II submarine commissioned in 1995 and one Akula III commissioned in 2001. The Russians call all of the submarines Shkuka B, regardless of modifications. Some potential for confusion may exist, as the name Akula was used by the Soviets for a different submarine, the Project 941 which is known in the West as the Typhoon class. By contrast, the Project 971 was named Shkuka B by the Soviets but designated as the Akula class by the West after the name of the lead ship, K-284. The launch of the first submarine in 1985, according to defense the analyst Norman Palmer, shook everyone, in the West up, as Western intelligence agencies had not expected the Soviet Union to produce such a boat for another ten years. Construction the Akula incorporates a double hull system composed of an inner pressure hull and an outer light hull. This allows more freedom in the design of the exterior hull shape, resulting in a submarine with more reserve buoyancy than its western analogues. This design requires more power than single hull submarines because of the greater wetted surface area, which increases drag. The distinctive bulb, or can seen on top of the Akula's rudder houses its towed sonar array, when retracted. Most Akulas have the SOX hydrodynamic sensors, which detect changes in temperature and salinity. They are located on the leading edge of the sail, on the outer hull casing in front of the sail and on the bottom of the hull forward of the sail. All Akulas have two T-shaped doors on the aft bottom of the hull, on either side. These are where the OK-300 auxiliary propulsion devices are located, which can propel the submarine at up to 5 knots. All Akulas are armed with four 533mm torpedo tubes which can use Type 53 torpedoes or the SSN-15 Starfish missile, and four 650mm torpedo tubes which can use Type 65 torpedoes or the SSN-16 Stallion missile. These torpedo tubes are arranged in two rows of four tubes each. Improved Akulas Akula IIs have an additional six 533mm torpedo tubes mounted externally, capable of launching possibly up to six decoys each. The external tubes are mounted outside the pressure hull in one row, above the torpedo tubes, and can only be reloaded in port or with the assistance of a submarine tender. The 650mm tubes can be fitted with liners to use the 533mm weaponry. The submarine is also able to use its torpedo tubes to deploy mines. Current status, as with many Soviet Russian craft, information on the status of the Akula-class submarines is sparse, at best. Information provided by sources varies widely. Equals Akula I equals, of the seven original Akula I submarines, only three are known to still be in service. These boats are equipped with MGK-500 SCAT sonar system. The lead boat of the class, K-284 Akula was decommissioned in 2001, apparently to help save money in the cash-strapped Russian Navy. K-322 Corse Harlot and K-480 Bars, currently ARC Bars are in reserve. K-480 Bars was put into reserve in 1998, and is being dismantled in February 2010. Pantera returned to service in January 2008 after a comprehensive overhaul. All were retrofitted with the SOX hydrodynamic sensors except Vogue. All submarines before K391 Bratsk have reactor coolant scoops that are similar to the ones of the Typhoon class SSBNs, long and tubular. Bratsk and subsequent submarines have reactor coolant scoops similar to the ones on the Oscar IIs, short and equals a cooler I improved equals, the six coolers of this class are all thought to be in service. They are quieter than the original MGK-500 SCAT sonar system on Akula is upgraded to the MGK-501 SCAT MIS. Sources also disagree as to whether construction of this class has been suspended, or if there are a further two units planned. Improved Akula hulls, 
K328 Leopard, K461 Vogue, K154 TIGR, K419 Spass, K295 Samara and K152 Nerpa. These submarines are much quieter than early Akula class submarines and all have the SOX hydrodynamic sensors except Leopard. The Akula I improved submarines have six 533mm decoy launching tubes, as do subsequent submarines. They have a different arrangement of limber holes on the outer hull than Nakula is. Nerpa and Iribis have a different rescue chamber in the sail. I can be distinguished by the large dome on the top surface. Equals Akula II equals K157 VEPR is the only completed Akula II. The Akula II is 3 meters longer and displaces about 700 tons more than the Akula I. The added space was used for additional quieting measures. The MGK501 SCAT sonar system on Akula is replaced to a new MGK540 SCAT 3 sonar system. K 157 VEPR became the first Soviet submarine that was quieter than the latest U.S. attack submarines of that time, which was the improved Los Angeles class. Two of these submarines were used to build the Bore class SSBNs. Equals Akula III equals K 335 Gpard is the only completed Akula III, there is no AKULA III NATO classification. It is longer and has a larger displacement compared to the Akula II. Also, it is an enlarged sail and a different towed array dispenser on the vertical fin. Again, more noise reduction methods were employed. The Gpart is the most advanced Russian submarine before the submarines of the Severodvinsk and Bore classes are commissioned. One of this class was used to complete the Bore SSBNs. The Soviet advances in sound quieting were of considerable concern to the West, for acoustics was long considered the most significant advantage in U.S. submarine technology compared to the Soviets. In 1983 a Euro 1984 the Japanese firm Toshiba sold sophisticated, nine-axis milling equipment to the Soviets along with their computer control systems, which were developed by Norwegian firm Kongsberg via Penfabrik. U.S. Navy officials and congressmen announced that this technology enabled the Soviet submarine builders to produce more accurate and quieter propellers. Due to the breakup of the Soviet Union in 1991, production of all Akulas slowed. The 1999 Euro 2000 edition of Jane's Fighting Ships incorrectly listed the first Akula II as Viper, commissioned November 25, 1995, Gepard launched 1999 and commissioned December 5, 2001, and Nerpa, laid down in 1993 began sea trials in October, 2008 and was commissioned by the Indian Navy as INS Chakra II in April 2012. Units equals Lease to India equals, 300 Indian Navy personnel were trained in Russia for the operation of the Akula II submarine Nerpa. India has finalized a deal with Russia in which at the end of the lease of these submarines, it has an option to buy them. The submarine is named INS Chakra as was the previous India leased Soviet Charlie ISSG and INS Chakra was officially inducted into the Indian Navy on April 4, 2012. Whereas the Russian Navy's Akula II could be equipped with 28 nuclear-capable cruise missiles with a striking range of 3,000 km, the Indian version is reportedly armed with a 300 km range 3M54 Club nuclear capable missiles. Missiles with ranges greater than 300 km cannot be exported due to arms control restrictions, since Russia is a signatory to the MTCR Treaty. Russia said in December 2014 that it is ready to lease India more nuclear powered submarines a day after President Vladimir Putin and Prime Minister Narendra Modi pledged to deepen defense ties. In January 2015, it was reported that India was involved in negotiations involving the leasing of the Corse Harlot and the Iribis. Nerpa 2008 accident, on October 27, 2008, it was reported that K-152 Nerpa of the Russian Pacific Fleet had begun her sea trials in the Sea of Japan before handover under a lease agreement to the Indian Navy. On November 8, 2008, while conducting one of these trials, an accidental activation of the Holland-based fire extinguishing system took place in the fore section of the vessel. Within seconds the Holland gas had displaced all breathable air from the compartment. As a result, 
20 people were killed by asphyxiation. Dozens of others suffered Freon-related injuries and were evacuated to an unknown port in Primorsky Krai. This was the worst accident in the Russian Navy since the loss of the submarine K-141 Kursk in 2000. The submarine itself did not sustain any serious damage and there was no release of radiation. Recent overseas deployments, in August 2009, the news media reported that two Akula-class submarines operated off the east coast of the United States, with one of the submarines being identified as a Project 971 Shkukubi type. U.S. military sources noted that this was the first known Russian submarine deployment to the Western Atlantic since the end of the Cold War, raising concerns within U.S. military and intelligence communities. The U.S. Northern Command confirmed that this 2009 Akula-class submarine deployment did occur. In August 2012, the news media reported that another Akula-class submarine operated in the Gulf of Mexico purportedly undetected for over a month, sparking controversy within U.S. military and political circles, with U.S. Senator John Cornyn of the Senate Armed Services Committee demanding details of this deployment from Admiral Jonathan W. Greenett, the Chief of Naval Operations. References External links, Akula class, Project 971 at FAS.org, Description of the class at Subsim Review, Details of the Akula class at Hazergray.